Right, we're going to do trilogy. So we're going to look at um, some trades and, that I'm in. I've just closed out, for example. CTLT was a great trade. I've just traded this. It uh, entered, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Fourth wave on this stock on the 240 time frame. And uh, it went and it's hit the target. Tried to push through, just took out my trading stop. There were instances where you had the short going into on the roller coaster to the wave four. We found great support in here. Started to move up. Sensible entry here, very sensible entry, very conservative. Risk reward still one to 1.6 into the target zone there. But there were opportunities during this time to add to this trade. But one thing I like as well is when you've got a stock that's heading up towards your entries and you keep getting these bit signals, that means there's increasing volume to the upside, these green candles, and there's bit signals. So there's, there's breakout potentials there. So you've got to be confident when that's happening and going towards your entry on that fifth wave move, you've got to be pretty confident in that. You know, then we get some, some uh, bit signals while we're in it. You know, these are opportunities to maybe add to your uh, position. And then I then move that to a daily to manage. So if you look at this on the daily time frame, we get a red day here. So this is increased volume to the downside. Okay, uh, which means potentially we've run out of juice. Remember, I, I'm trading the fifth wave on um, on the 240, but on the daily, the daily time frame for stocks is the truest time frame. Okay, there's an open, a close, a high, and a low. So when we look at the volume for these days, these grey candles using the bits each day, the volume is lower and lower and lower until finally we get a high volume day, but it's a red day, a down day. That's a sign it's going to potentially turn back down. So you become very tight with your trading stock to lock at all of this profit. You know, you risk $10,000 on this trade. This is worth $117,000, uh, $17, sorry. So $10,000, $17,000, you're going to lock some profit in. Uh, what I'm still in right now is FNB, okay? So this is slightly different in that I had a great entry, okay? That's on the daily time frame. It's hit the fifth wave target and an all-time high today, okay? So now I also have the roller coaster giving me the trailing stop position. So I have a decision, I can be conservative, use the trailing stop provided by the roller coaster to manage this trade, uh, which you know will likely have a pullback because spinning top with high volume, the next day, which was yesterday, we had um, an up day, but again a doji with with, with gray, which was less volume. Today, we've got another doji. And if it closes today like this with less volume than the day before, you gotta think this could be turning back around. So you have to make that decision. You know, we like these things to run, but we always want to lock in some profit. If it's still on low volume coming down here, dictated by the color of the candles using the bits. So in this case, I'm using the color of the candles uh, for the bits. I'm using the roller coaster to manage the trade but my entry strategy and the whole strategy to trade is the fifth wave move the Elliott wave. So I'm using all three in this instance, okay? Um, and it's working out extremely well. When you're trading a fifth wave move, mass is another one that we're in right now. Um, we, we're in profit, we've had a nice high, couple of high volume days, took us 100% profit times risk. Now we're pulling back slightly, but again, cyan, cyan, cyan. This is lower volume each day on this pullback. This is some low volume profit taking, okay? So in reality, it's just people skimming off the top, if you like. There's no real selling. It's just people taking some pop positions off, taking some of that, and it's not really forcing the trade down. However, now I am risk-free because as soon as I get a close above the 50% profit times risk, I like to go risk-free, but now tomorrow, I'm now printing the first trading stock position for this roller coaster trade. So again, now I'm going to be using the roller coaster to manage this trade. Okay. It seems a little aggressive, but it's locking in some profit. And I know these three down days, I mean, today's an inside day, but this pullback right now is low volume. So I'm reasonably confident this is going to run out of juice, find a higher support level, hopefully above where my trading stock will be after the close today and allow it to go. And then each day, all I do, next time trading stop position is printed tomorrow, is just adjust the stop. Okay, so in this case, I'm just using two. I use the uh, Elliott Wave to get in a trade. Uh, I've let that move forward. I've used, you know, basic trade management techniques to get it to risk free. And then now the trading stop's been printed on a roller coaster. I'm gonna combine that and use that for uh, my stops. Very, very simple. 
Uh, and, you know, I do this every day. That stocks, 6E today, we traded. Did we trade it? We had a runner, a big runner. So we didn't take the short because I'm bullish by a 6E. Um, we came down, we got the roller coaster, and then boom, 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 boom right into uh, the big resistance zone. These are new highs for the last year. 6E is making right now. Dollar's very weak, printing all this money just ain't good for the dollar right now. Um, so very, very simple here. There was an opportunity to trade the fifth wave as well. So you can get early with a roller coaster, you get early in a trend. So you can trade this up. Uh, it goes into resistance. You expect to pull back at that stage. Then it pulls back on a wave four. Then you can trade the fifth wave. You know, an entry strategy here. This is the three minute. Okay. Once you've, um, you've had one attempt to come down, you know, your six, four moving average is way up here. You're not going to go along just yet. Wait for it to come down. Higher support level than this wave four. This is looking bullish. Go long through this pivot. There you go. There's your fifth wave move. There's the target. So combining today on futures, uh, roller coaster and Elliott wave gets you in this really big move. I know we're talking big move here. We made some really good money on 6E today um, just by doing the basics. Okay.